So we are back here with the Oakland Athletics franchise, just start of this 2020 season. Uh, good to opening day start with a win against the Seattle Mariners. And now we will move on here into the uh, next month here in March. We'll move on probably to April as we'll keep going through here, taking uh, this four-game uh, series against Seattle and then move on to Houston. Good start in the division to see where we stand. And uh, you see A.J. Puck, that's where we're going to go next in Houston. His uh, Major League debut, uh, we've been waiting for this for a couple years, 24 years old, the six foot seven left-hander out of Iowa, so it's going to be, um, hopefully it's a good start, and hopefully he has a good season, and just as we go along here, Sean Murphy, backup catcher, he's out for two to three months with a tour ligament, so we're going to have to go to free agency, pick up a backup catcher, Miguel Montero, so we really don't have anybody in the minor leagues we can rely on, obviously a position that's been weak for us for the last couple years. And uh, hopefully we'll just uh, see what Montero has. So we head to Houston. Both teams coming in at 3-1 and one here. And we will face David Paulino. He's had one start just last year. This will be his first start this year. Uh, it was a decent start. And he'll be on the mound here to today. And here we go in the first inning. Juan Soto on a 2-1 count. Soto's going to rip this one deep. And that's a great way to start this ball game. Way out of here. See you later. And we give the... Uh, Puck, the young pitcher here, a uh, lead to start off with. A little bit easier going in. Soto with the solo home run, already looking good this year in his first uh, kind of full season. So one nothing here to start this ball game. I said, here comes AJ Puck in his debut, and he's going to go face Al Jose Altuve here in his first uh, bat, and it's a misplay there by the guy that just hit the home run, Soto. And then that's thrown away. So now Altuve is going to head on to third base. Unbelievable what just happened here. Soto can't come up with the play. Misses the throw at second base. Two errors on one play. And then next batter up is Bregman. He rips this one for a base hit. Altuve will score unearned run. But it doesn't really matter. We are tied up a one. What a way to start this ball game. Interesting. So next up is Correa, and Correa is going to rip this one. That's going to be a base hit in the left field. So three batters, no outs yet, two bases hit, two base hits, two errors, and a run. So here comes George Springer, and Springer's going to rip this one. Man, that was ripped right up the middle. You can see the little tail on that ball as Bregman's going to come in to score, and the Astros now have a two to one lead. So a bit of a rough start here. For A.J. Puck, let's see if he can just get somebody out. As now Marwan Gonzalez is going to hit that over to Chapman. There we go, 5-4 to four to 3 double play. So that's going to help out a ton. And he'll move Correa over to third. So let's see if Puck can get out of this with only two. Runs allowed to Sierra. That's going to rip right down to first base. But Matt Olson is there to knock it down. Enough time to get over to first base in the end of the inning. So two runs allowed, just one earned. As now we head to the second inning. And here comes Frank Liberetto with a man on first. That is absolutely crushed. See you later. So take advantage of that short porch here in Houston. Already our second home run of this ball game here in the second. And we take the lead right back. Three to two. Nice job by Barreto. So we head to Miguel Montero making his debut here. And that's a great at bat debut. That one is ripped into the gap there. That should be a double for sure. So obviously we've had so many problems with catchers. I mean, if we could just, if, I mean, hopefully uh, Navarez works out. But if Miguel Montero can hit like that all the time, he just might move right into the starting role. So here's Juan Soto now, two down, one two count. He's going to rip that one down the line. Montero should score easily. Soto is going to be on his way to second. He's going to hold up there. So a long single, but it works out. Gets the run in, and we get another one here. It's now four to two ball game here in the second inning. So bring up Boog Pal, giving Piscotti a day off. That's up, ripped up the middle, but unfortunate, right off Paulino's foot, and that'll be the end of the inning. Could have had a uh, another, you know, keep kept the inning going there, but they got the uh, luck of the uh, hit off the foot there. So now AJ Puck back in the second inning, settles down a little bit, gets a three up three down inning, and he'll get out of the second. So we'll head to the third now. And there's a man on first, and that's going to bring up Bregman. And Bregman's going to hit us through the middle. Barreto can't get it, so Altuve is on to second. So Puck running into a bit of a trouble here again here in the third. Now 2-1 with no out. So here comes Correa. Correa's going to go, go down looking. Strike three there, so big strikeout. 
And now O2 count here to Springer. He's going to ground this one to Olsen. And can we pull it off? This is a double play. And AJ Puck gets out of the third with nothing allowed there. When he had two on and no out. So we'll head to the top of the fourth. And Matt Chapman's going to rip this one into the gap. So Chapman on his way to second base. A little bit of hold up there for Springer. is going to allow Chapman to go over to third. And he'll be in with a triple there to start off this fourth inning. So a chance here to add on to our lead here. So here's Barreto who hit that home run. See what he can do in this at bat. And he's going to rip this one right up the middle. Base hit. Chapman scores easily. And now we have a 5-2 ball game. So we're helping out Puck, who has been struggling two out of the first three innings. We're helping him out, though, with the uh, bats and getting some runs on the board. As now here is going to be another base hit. So now we'll, we'll continue this fourth inning with uh, no outs, and that's going to be it. Yeah, they've seen enough. Paulino is going to be taken out of this game. Colin McHugh is going to come in as uh, one appearance so far in the season. And here is uh, going to be Montero grounding this one. And that's a great... No, it's going to be an error thrown by Altuve. That'll allow everybody to move up. And a run will score, so it looked like a short double play with Montero running. But Altuve with the throwaway there. Add another run. Still nobody out in this inning. And now Juan Soto comes to the plate, rips that one for a base hit. Will hold up Montero there with a uh, less speed. But now this is a 7-2 ball game here in the fourth. So bring up Xander Bogarts. What can he do with one out? And he's going to hit this one in the right field. It's going to be interesting, Tucker. Yeah, it's, he's up with the throw. We're sending Montero throw. Cut off, and it's easily done. Montero just gunned down there. But still a great inning as it's a 7-2 ball game here in the fourth. So how can A.J. Puck deal with this? And that's not a good way to start. Marwin Gonzalez way back. And that is out of here. So Marwan Gonzalez gets right back a solo home run, 7-3 ball game. And we've had games here in the past in Houston where it's just been home run derby. So hopefully it just doesn't turn out into that. As you see the next batter up, Sierra, he hits this one to dead center. Way back and that one's gone. So back-to-back -back home runs here for Houston. And just like that, it's a 7-4 ball game. And now we have four total home runs in this game. Gee, so what can A.J. Puck do? He needs to settle down, and now that's going to be a base hit for Goodwin. So he is having some struggles here in the fourth inning. And we're going to go to the, give him a mound visit, try to settle him down. He is finding bats left and right. So now with one down, and now he is going to let up a walk there to Kelly, and that's going to bring Jose Altuve to the plate here, first and second, and one down. See if we can turn the double play here. Bogarts. And can we get it? No, Altuve's just got too much speed. Let's still get the uh, force at second. So first and third here for Bregman. And Bregman's going to pop this one up. Let's see if Soto can catch this one. He'll be under it and comes down with it. So they get two solo home runs and uh, still remain a 7-4 ball game. So we head into the fifth inning now. And looks like A.J. Puck has settled down a little bit there as he gets Sierra looking on that uh, swing in there on that slider. So head to the top of the six. And Miguel Montero, who had that double early in his first at bat. Can he have another one here? This one is way back. And this time, don't forget about the double. That one is out of here. What a debut from Miguel Montero. We just bring him off the free agent list as a double solo home run. Fifth total home run in this ball game. And we in an 8-4 to four ball game as A.J. Puck will be pulled here. And now Jarrell Cotton's going to come in. And he's going to get Bregman there swinging at a miss. And he gets out of the sixth inning. So A.J. Puck kind of struggling for sure. Only going five innings. Really uh, struggled. But you know what? It's going to happen. His first major league start against a very good lineup. And luckily the offense came uh, came alive here in this ball game to hopefully get himself a victory. He is still uh, there to pick up the win. As it's a 9-5 to five ball game here in the eighth. As Altuve is going to ground this one to Zanu Bogart. It's going to be a tough guy to get. And you will get him there as Petit is going to get out of the eighth inning. So here we go in the ninth. Down four are the Astros trying to get anything he can get. Correa is going to ground this one over to Bogarts. He'll be up with it. That'll be out number two. And that'll be up to uh, George Springer here to continue this game for the Astros. Two for four so far in this ballgame with a ribby. And the first pitch to Springer. He's going to rip this one over to Matt Olsen. Olsen up with it. He'll take the out there, and that will be the ball game. So a 9-5 victory here for this A's team. And A.J. Puck's debut, getting him the win, 
you said, not the greatest game, only going five, but uh, when your offense gives you that, you know, much run support, hey, that can, uh, can't really complain about that. A lot of errors, a lot of home runs in this ball game. But Puck uh, at least settled down a little bit in the uh, fourth and fifth inning. In the fifth inning, I would say, just to get out of it and get a chance for the victory. So uh, come away with the victory there. And so far, the season looking good. Um, I think we'll move into, obviously, the next month. I think what we'll do next time is start off. And we're going to take a look at the, some of the top prospects in our organization, the guys we drafted the last few years. And really, I want to look at double A. Leslie Dickinson, Frank Reyes, Jason Fitch, and Brian Dolly, the guys we drafted the past year. Um, I think we jump to a game and see what they can do. Um, next time, it's going to be interesting. I think those guys, you know, they're not that far away. They can definitely be maybe a season or two away and, and just really want to see what they can do. And I think maybe we'll move through a, maybe a month just to see how this team turns out. Because right now, at 4-1, and one, we are looking pretty good and hopefully it can continue. And uh, we'll see how this season pans out going forward. So that's pretty much going to do it for this one. If you please give a like comment and subscribe. We will see you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.